What's going on everybody? Welcome to Adventure Time Prospecting. Here we are in the heart of Appalachian Mountains, wild, wonderful West Virginia, right here on Black Sand Beach. I'm gonna flip y'all around and show you what we're doing. You walk around on this beach here, you'll come across these clay areas. Is that nice clay? Well, check out what's right on top of this clay. Look at that black sand. Right on top of the clay. That's good stuff, folks. So we're gonna get us a good bucket load of this stuff. Because I tell you what, we've been finding some pretty good gold right here again this clay. So with that said, we'll get some of it. That's pretty awesome. Straight friggin' black sand right on top of clay. Look at that. It don't get much better. Oh yeah. Chomp, chomp, chomp. <laughs> oh yeah. Black sand and clay right on. Uh, before we get started, it's safety meeting time. Oh, yeah. <coughs> oh, yeah, right on. <coughs> All right, guys, here we are up and running. Beautiful morning. We'll start feeding this little rascal. Seems to be running beautifully. There. Bye, All right, guys, we'll check back in after we get to running some of this good stuff. Adventure time prospecting out. Tell you what, guys, ladies and gentlemen, she chomps right on through her. Look at it, just slowly washing. It's a clay ball right there, so we're gonna get that good black sand off of it, kind of smoosh it up. I don't feel any more grit in it, so we'll chuck it on out. Any of your bigger rocks on this thing, just wash on down. Tell you what, it's a beautiful day out here. Absolutely beautiful.
country roads take me home. <laughs> Let's head on to the house, y'all. West Virginia has a pretty nice sandy beach, huh? All right, y'all, we're back at the house. So you know what that means. Go get the horn, Frankie. Go get up on that horn. It's time for Frankie Ball. Frankie Ball. It's time for Frankie Ball. And it's time for another safety meeting. Oh boy. Now remember y'all, when you turn these little dream mats on, whether it's in a cleanup sluice or your bigger ones, you always want to brush it out. Now you might not see me do it down there on the river, but I do, because if there's little air bubbles in these cells, the gold will just step right on over them. Alright, so take, it's just a little cheap, cheap dishes brush from the Dollars Generals. We call it Deej. <laughs> Anyhow, let's go in there in like a, a dollar. So, just grab it. We grab you one, chuck it there in your in your prospecting tote. You can see here's what we're left with. I classified it all down to like window screen minus piece of lead right there. A lot of black sand in this stuff. Anyways, just taking a little bit of it in here. Golly, that's a lot of black sand. But we're just going to let it run nice and slow. As long as these cells are dancing and that material's jumping around, which it is, we're in good shape. So we'll check back in with y'all. Tell you what, this little rascal really chomps through it. I still ain't bought me no valve yet. I'm still having to adjust my water with a daggum pair of pliers and a broken valve nipple. So there's that. Lord, I'm glad springtime's rolled back around so I can get back out and not totally freeze. And I tell you what, Black Sand Beach is real nice. Come summertime, you can get a suntan down in there. Black sands are insane. All right, guys, there's what we're left with. As you can see, we're still a chomping on through it. We'll get right in here and keep on and on. Their feet are in there and it just eases right on off there. Hopefully it don't drop y'all down there and drink again. Let them little rascals go, them little cells. 
I love watching them do their thing there. It's nice. Anyhow, we'll let them dance around and we'll check back in with you when we're when we're done. All right, guys. I was getting ready to shut it down here, and I thought I noticed a little line up there. Look at that. I'm gonna zoom in. I think there's a little bit of color just dancing in one little low pressure area. Right there. That's kind of cool. If that's what it is, it sure enough looks like a little bit of flower gold dancing right there. With a little bit of black sand. Anyhow, I'm going to shut her down and clean her up. Show you all what we got. Hopefully. That right there is a good, a good, oh my, look at that. We did run some good looking material. So I reckon let's have a look at it. I'll stop this thing and get her cleaned up. All right, everybody. Well, I got her pan down. You can see the water's a little bit dirty, but I think you'll be able to still see the gold. We got a decent amount of flower gold again. Look at that. I'll close in a little bit. Tell you what, there's there's more gold out of West Virginia. Some of them's even got a little bit of shape to them there. It's nice. Gotta love a little bit of gold so close to home. Go out and within three hours I'm there, prospected a few buckets and come home. So that's pretty sweet. Now, I've had a couple people ask, well, how do I pick this super small flower gold up? I'm going to show you a little bit. Let me zoom in a little bit for you here. Because I'm trying to do this with one hand. See the little bit of gold there? I'm going to take this and kind of blow it up toward the top. See how it's moving? You just carefully blow it right up to the edge and then watch this squeeze it bottle and then you just ease the pressure up off that bottle it puts it right in this bottle I'll zoom out a little bit and show you. Once again, I will blow that gold up toward the top. See how it's all in a little line? Just give that bottle a good squeeze. down here in your bottle that my friends is how I collect the gold and then what I'll do I'll pan through this a couple more times keep fanning it back getting my gold out until there's no more then I throw all what's left into a tailings bucket and then I go through them all one more time anyhow thanks for coming along on this latest adventure peace love and prospecting hopefully we'll see you guys down at the creek here for too awful long hopefully this gives y'all a little idea how to go out and look for gold and how to find some of your very own you ain't gonna get rich around here but it don't mean you can't go out and have a good time trying to find of it anyhow we'll see you guys on the next adventure time prospecting i'm gonna take a break here and clean up but first i'm gonna play some frankie ball so, until next time Peace, love, and prospecting. Please like, subscribe, and share. I appreciate it, and it helps the channel more than you know. And I did have a couple people asking, how do you donate to the channel? Well, I have a super thanks button somewhere down there. I don't really know how that works, but supposedly it's on. That's how you can do it if, you, if you'd like to. 
helps me get out and do more adventures. Anyhow, we'll see you guys on the next one. James, Venture Time Prospect and out. It's time for Frankie Ball. It's Frankie Ball. Ah! And here's my other one. Yeah. This is pretty much what she does. This is milkshakes. She's a cat. <laughs>